So, this tutorial and the next two tutorials are going to be insanely short, okay? Uh, before I start, you know, the main topic of this tutorial, uh, I'd just like to mention, a lot of people have been saying, oh, you know, make a playlist, like so many people have said, make a playlist. There is a playlist for this series, and it's been there since, you know, the first episode. I can go and show you that now, actually. Uh, so just give me two minutes, and... So, here we go, there it is, how to make a 2D game, 40 videos. And they're all there. They've all been there since day one. See, pe people have liked and, you know, looked at the playlist. 10,000 views for the playlist, okay? It's there, it exists, it's all here, okay? So, yeah. <coughs> so the main topic of the discussion here is disposing, uh, you know, this little dispose method here. Um, I personally, you know, I'm not, I'm not sure whether this is a wise idea or not, but uh, if you've seen Catch It, <coughs> which is a game I made with LibGDX and published very recently, um, Catch It is not really a resource-heavy game. Um, so I don't, you know, tend to, I actually don't dispose anything in Catch It, okay? Uh, I probably should, but, you know, I, d I don't feel the need to because it's not really a RAM intensive game. But if you're making, you know, a massive adventure game or something, you know, that's going to be pretty RAM intensive considering the amount of assets you might have in it. <coughs> so dispose literally, uh, if I have a texture, uh, and I don't need it anymore, that's literally what I would call, okay? So I don't need it anymore, this screen is gone. So in adventure games, say, the screen is level 1, okay? You now don't need anything from level 1, you can dispose all that, and then load everything from level 2 in the next screen, and then dispose it when you're done with level 2, etc, etc. Now you'll see a table on, well not a table, but you see a list of things that, uh, you know, a list of objects that will need to be disposed of manually in this dispose method. The dispose method is called every time this screen is destroyed. So say level one, you quit it, okay? Uh, so say level one, you go back to the main menu, you go back to the main menu screen. Um, then this dispose method would be called. <coughs> Pausing and disposing is different, I'd like to mention. So this dispose method is called when you go back to the main screen, and then when you go into level one, you're going to have to load them all again. That's generally how it happens, actually. So, And yeah, so that's your little insight to disposing. Have a fantastically brilliant day, guys. I'll see you in the next short tutorial. Bye-bye.